Good morning. It is Friday, the 31st of December, the very last day of the year. We need to persevere and be disciplined that we finish the year um, and, and finish it well and then have the discipline and the perseverance to continue into the new year and all that the new year holds for us. Reminds me of being a, a schoolboy. I um, love to play sport and one of them was athletics and I preferred far more the middle distance and the long distance running. And I remember on one occasion um, at our school's athletics championships and the uh, cross country, which was the big one, I um, had received advice from my, my, my stepfather, who was a comrades marathon runner. And of course, many of his friends were likewise. And, and their whispered advice was that to win a race doesn't mean getting into the front and staying in the front from the very beginning. Winning a race can actually mean um, getting up near the front and let the pace setters set the pace. And then when the time is right, think carefully about your, your timing. But when that moment arrives, you surge to the front and, and then run as fast as you can so that you can hit the finishing line first. And I did this on that one memorable day. I think I was in, in standard nine as it was then. Uh, what's that, grade 11? And the marathon champion was a grade 12, a matric boy, and he thought he was going to win. And I did the, the, the advice that was given to me, and I took the approximate three laps, it was the arduous route, um, around the school grounds, into the neighboring bush, back into the school grounds. We had to do that three times over. And by the last lap, I was now right up on the heels of that front group. And I managed to pass everyone except the champion. And I remembered the advice, don't get into the front too soon. So I stuck behind him. I let him know that I was there. And, and I could see that he was perturbed because his, his footsteps were trying to increase. And I was just being calm. And he could hear my footsteps and my heavy breathing. And then on one occasion, I was able to get past him. It wasn't quite the moment that I anticipated but I was able to use an opportunity to get in front of him, which meant that he had to sprint to get past me again. I was able to take legally a little bit of a shortcut by jumping over a big pond that we had to circle around. And he came sprinting past me as soon as he was in the open again. But I could sense that he was now quite winded. And then the, the last leg was up a very steep bank and onto the rugby field and then about a 150 meter sprint um, to the finishing line. And again, I knew that his preferred path was, was, was very much a bit of a right angle as he went up that bank and he would bump his legs furiously. And I realized that the mirror tape or the, the boundary tape that we had to stay within gave me an opportunity to take a shortcut and go up that steep part of the bank at a diagonal, which would mean that I could keep my speed. And I knew that was the moment. And sure enough, when we got there, I was able to use that to my advantage, get in front of him up the bank and then sprint as fast as I could those last 150 meters. And, and I won. He was quite furious, um, but he was just behind me. But he had winded himself. That advice of being disciplined and persevering helped out. How does that relate to us? Well, life is sometimes a little bit like um, a marathon or a cross-country course. We never know quite what, which obstacles are going to come our way. And the object is not to get to the front and show how clever you are, but is to get into the right position. And as Christians, that right position might well be what is God calling us to do? Where is God calling us to be? Um, it might be at the front, well and good, but it might also be just let others set the pace. Let them make the mistakes. Let them wind themselves. And then at the right opportunity, you can stand up in the group and speak God's word. You're not the first to speak and to, to blow off lots of steam and to wind yourself. And so as we finish the year, let us finish it strong. Let us not be always at the front. Let others set the pace. But when the time is right, we can move to the front. When others say the wrong things, we can quietly as God gives us the, the, the discipline and the perseverance and say, now is the time, now is the time to overtake, as it were. And you can stand up and quietly and calmly, when everyone else has had their say and blown off all the steam, calmly, quietly share the word of God. And let that be not only as we finish this year, 
and finish strong, but let us also then be for next year so that we can start the year strong and be a witness for our Lord. Folks, this will be my last message for this year, uh, obviously, because it's the last day of the year, but I'll pick it up again uh, next week after we get back from the weekend. Have a good weekend, have good celebrations, behave yourselves, and finish the year strong and for God. Amen. God bless.